a half-sized prototype of a flying taxi, designed to send Russia into the future. But it could be a bumpy ride ahead. Every time we fall, we learn a lot. Uh, this is our lab model. It looks nice, but it's, it's a working laboratory thing. Every time it happens, we narrow down and we make the final product more safer. Moscow-based aircraft manufacturer Bartini hopes to one day supply firms like Uber with flying cars. But it's not alone. Uber is already working with several companies to bring flying taxis closer to reality, including Boeing, Embraer and drone technology pioneer Karam. It's also facing tough competition from air taxi startups like China's Ehang and Kitty Hawk, backed by Google co-founder Larry Page. They say flying taxis are almost ready to go to market, but getting this innovation off the ground is not just about tech, it's also about trust. Whoever wins the race will need to convince customers these taxis are safe. But regulation and infrastructure for flying cars could still be many years away. Despite these hurdles, Morgan Stanley predicts the market for self-flying cars could rise to one and a half trillion dollars by 2040. People will change where they live or work because it will be faster and easier to get anywhere they want. It's uh, not a transport technology, but it's also a, a humanitarian technology to change the way we think. If companies like Bartini are successful, it could cut congestion and even change the way cities look. But based on this test, your local taxi driver has nothing to worry about just yet. Dan Ashby, TRT World, Moscow.